What's up everyone, Orion here, and my journey in the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC continues today. It's time for part two, and we have unfinished business. We have a knight, our first boss here of the DLC, who is going to be slain today. So thank you all for the support on part one. Uh, if you get some enjoyment and want to continue to see this series... In the future, be sure to drop a like. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying it in a comment down below. You can always leave your tips in a comment down below as well, as long as it's not like a huge spoiler. If your tip is get good, uh, leave those comments, get good, because I do need to get good. Uh, but that doesn't really help in Elden Ring, so... <laughs> you know, dodge better, block better, yeah. Uh, so just like the first episode, smash that like button. If this gets to 50 likes, I will then edit part three and get part three uploaded and ready shortly after that for you all and you all want to keep seeing seeing the series you all know what to do you legends let's do this and some of you might say why the light go ryan on this series you don't usually do that if you all want me to go through this much pain and die a thousand times on video I'm going to be setting light goals. Because <laughs> I'm going to go through the pain regardless. But I don't want you all to see my rage on video. Because listen, this game, I don't I don't get rage in games. I tell you right now, this game gets me so mad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm setting a light goal. You better believe it. <laughs> oh my, you better believe it. Come on, here we go. I'm, I'm not I'm not afraid of this guy the black gold knight welcome to my world And the, I trash talk bosses a lot like this is a different side of me in Elden Ring I'm, that you all have not seen so Welcome to Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree Part 2. What has changed since Part 1? Well, not much. We're still dying. But that's this game. Listen, I'm telling you all, always stick with Elden Ring. Stick with it. You're gonna die a lot. That's the point. <laughs> You're supposed to endure. You never back down. You never give up. You keep fighting. That is the beauty of this video game. I am telling you all, if you meet this game with what it is, you will love it. You will love it. Don't be afraid of the difficulty. I'm telling you, don't be afraid. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. Like, I cannot say enough about how satisfying this game is. And honestly, how perfect this game is. Now, remember I said this speech after we've still fighting this boss in part 10. <laughs> It, remember the speech if if we make it to part 10 here on the channel Remember the speech I thought I dodged that, but what do I know?
Okay, that's that's new. <laughs> that's a new sequence. Uh, some of you might be wondering, Ryan, why don't you play with the webcam on the whole time? For one, I want you all to see the beauty of the game. And for two, I, you know, I move a lot. You know, I, I, I like to get, like, I get in there. Like, I when, when I'm dodging in the game, I'm dodging in real life. Like, dodge real hard. Like, yeah, I, it's a workout. My Elden Ring runs. Like, I'm wore out after I'm sweating. Like, yeah, I, I move. You got to. <laughs> yeah, you want to know how to get good at the game? Yeah, you just move. So that's why you don't see a webcam on. I bring it up sometimes so you can see my facial reactions and the pain. So, yeah. That's why. <laughs> you know, one thing I will tell you. We have fun here in the Gamer Ability community here on Gamer Ability 2. <sighs> And we take down the night. Welcome to my world, night. We haven't even got to the story of the DLC. We, have no, we don't even know what's happening yet, but you know what we know what's happening. This boss is about to be slain. That's what's about to happen. Alright, let's do this. Come on. Wake up, you two. just went back to back of course he did You were literally moving. I can't die. I, I don't know. Look, he's still trying to kill us, and we're already dead. What's everybody's prediction? How many parts? You know, I, I'm trying to keep it an hour or less for each part. How long will we be on this boss fight? Well, that's if, you know, that's if I do a full series, right? I have a feeling you all are going to want to see this one. I have a feeling you are... ...are going to want to watch me go through all the pain. <laughs> I have a 
have a strong feeling that we'll be here. You better believe it. Oh, I forgot to charge my sword. Rookie mistake. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go at him. I'm not afraid. Like. no strong attacks and I can beat them. <laughs> did, now, I did one strong attack and it got me killed, right? And I honestly don't know if this is the weapon for this boss, if I'm being honest. I, I think we've actually should probably use the Blasphemous Sword. I don't know though, I could be wrong. I'm gonna try it. I'll switch it up a bit. That may all oh, were too heavy with the blasphemous sword. We don't need armor. We're not gonna get hit. Obviously. And look how ripped the Elden Lord is. Right? We're the Elden Lord. We beat all the main bosses. We became Elden Lord. We don't need armor. It was holding us back. That's the problem. That's what it was. We got a cool range attack with this. That's cool. Oh, wait. If you're close to it, he, you can't dodge. He puts his back into you and kind of stuns you a bit. Aha. So you just got to get away. I know I could beat this with the shield, but I just don't want to use a shield. I used a shield for a lot of my playthrough until the end, and I just enjoyed it so much better. It's so much more, like, rewarding to not use a shield for me. I might get pushed to the point to where I'll use anything. <laughs> Ryan, remember when you said you don't like to use the mimic? Oh, you seem to be using your mimic a lot lately. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. See, that's the thing that's important to realize. With Look how many people, the bloodstains there on the ground, keep in mind, are other people in real life playing this boss at the same time. Of course, you can't see them. You'll see them sometimes. Those shadow people you see, the white shadows, those are actually other players playing at the same time. And all those bloodstains are people dying on this boss. <laughs> Don't you worry, YouTube. We're not alone. Wait, how did they die here? Wait, wait. How did they die here? Did they just... What in the world? Did they try to escape?
Um. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not this one. We haven't done any better with it. Go back to old reliable. Night. Welcome to my world. Welcome to the dark side of the moon. He's trying to heal up. No, no, no. No. You do not heal up on me. Look, he's flustered. He's flustered! You don't heal up on me! You're trying to heal, you ain't got nothing! So here's the thing. I have a tendency to trash talk these bosses a lot. And yeah, I um sometimes that leads me to just full send. I just full sending. I just kept hitting the attack button, kept them on the ropes. Uh, that <laughs> that was. It. I'd like to announce this the end of uh end of my Elden Ring Shadow of Erd Tree video series. Hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> Imagine just stop the video series now. Of course, I'm gonna finish this game. Imagine. <laughs> Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh my. Why was I so greedy? I do that. You should have seen me against Moog. I'm telling you, there were some fights I had that fight won and I just I just started trash talking the boss, like telling him he has nothing, like he's easy. And then he always, always a one hit. Oh that what was I doing? Okay. I'm mad now. Some of you might say, well, Ryan, you seemed mad on that one. No, that's not mad. <laughs> that's not mad, YouTube. That's greedy. It's a big difference between mad and greedy, okay? <laughs> we had him. Why? Why did I just back up, heal up, and drill him, right? Like, why do I always have to be go for that extra hit? about him is that the play oh no it's not so we just happened to keep hitting him when he was trying to heal right i we had that fight one that last one okay all right all right elden ring you've got me pulled in now what a great boss design all right like there 
the, the, the thing that makes their bosses so amazing in all the From Software games, they respond to you. They see what you're doing. They read your moves and they will punish you. Like, it's so impressive. Like, they see you going for a heavy attack. Good luck, right? They know and they, they exploit it. They take advantage of your weaknesses and your repeated attacks and they will punish you. Best, best boss design ever. Most frustrating boss design? Yeah, you better believe it. We got him in the corner. Rookie mistake, Knight. What a rookie. Yeah, I'm gonna be quiet. What a rookie, am I right, YouTube? You all, would you all agree? What a rookie. <laughs> what a rookie. <laughs> yeah, are you talking about Knight or are you talking about Ryan the Elden Lord here? <laughs> you, <laughs> you talking about the Knight, Ryan, or are you talking about yourself? <laughs> oh. And some of you might be wondering, does this even do anything? You do it every time? I don't know. It seems to make me fight a little bit better. So I do it and it gives me confidence. So does it help me win? Clearly not. Attack too, buddy. We're dead. Sometimes he does that extra shot. That's so mean. Sometimes he does 45 of them. health. I'm not letting up now, Knight. You keep using that health. Third time's a charm, right? <laughs> right? Did you just say third time? Yeah. 
Right? Third try? I love the challenge though. Like, yeah, we could make this fight a lot easier if we wanted to, but what's the fun in that, right? Come on, knight. A shield, I could take him out easily. It wouldn't even be a fight. How about we get that shield out? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I told myself I would not. I would try to not use a shield as long as I can because it's just so. It to me, it's just so much more fun trying to dodge. And I, if I rely on a shield so much and block 100% of the physical damage, right? It's great, but then I forget how to dodge, and then you get to some bosses with a shield just not as useful. And good luck. This game, this game is about perseverance. I'm telling y'all that this is a game of perseverance. You don't persevere, you're not going to make it past the first hour. <laughs> don't try. Not going to make it past the first hour. I made it past the first hour, though. You know, first first episode was over an hour. This episode, I think, for 20-some minutes in. 28 minutes, almost 30. So, you know, I'm not even. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to just gonna go in. We're just going to go in. We're going to go double sword. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, we're going in. We're going Blasphemous Blade on the left. No. We're going Sword of Milo's on the left. We're going Dark Moon on the right. And we're not messing around. I don't need any of that fancy stuff. Well, welcome back to Gamer Ability 2, everybody. I'm glad everybody stepped out for that last attempt. Uh, no comments about that last attempt down in the comment sections below. Let's let's keep it. <laughs> keep it positive, encouraging down there below. crazy thing is like this boss is not I just beat Moog Moog is way harder than this boss not even close not even close like you cannot even put Moog and Knight in the same tier level Moog took Moog was so tough phase two of Moog was insane this boss is nothing compared to Moog so like do I think we can beat it yeah better believe I, I'm really I'll be honest with y'all I this boss is not even stressing me out and maybe that's the problem maybe I need to play a little bit stressed <laughs> that's it that's the problem okay I'm not stressed Oh, 
some might say, well, Ryan, why did it stop running? And yeah, that is a very fair question. And I don't know. I was holding down the button. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> what do I know, you know? I just play games at a high level. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Professional Elden Ring superstar. Settle down? Like... Okay. So... Let's um, go back to what we were using. We've gotten worse switching it up. So drop the sword straight to the Dark Moon Great Sword. That's all we need. We don't need fire negation down here. What do we need? Reduce the cost of FP, maybe? Raises attack power after each critical hit. Oh, that's the one we just got. Yeah, let's use that. I, have we got a critical hit? No. Have we? I don't know. I keep forgetting I have my wolves. Can I even use my wolves? No, I don't have the FP for them, do I? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I do.
YouTube, you can't win fights afraid. I got focused there. Like, I was silent. I it can't say... I think I'm going to start trash talking again. I feel like... I feel like the trash talking threw off the boss a little bit. So I caught him in some hit stuns. I think if we have a little bit of quicker... What if we go back to... This is the weapon I used when I started the game. The fire... Uchigatana? I just call it the katana. Uh, so we're going to try that. This is what I used to beat the game. This is how I became Elden Lord. So. Let's go back to the original. I used this my entire playthrough. To beat all the bosses. This was my loadout. With, with the shield, most of them though. This is going to be the one. That's a lot slower than it used to be. <laughs> yeah, that that weapon, when I used to use it, from what, from my memory, I mean, this was two years ago, right? When the game first came out. It's been like two years, right? Maybe longer than that. How long has it been? Well, it's been a while, but that sword used, in my mind, used to be way faster than that. Nothing beats this sword now for me. Uh, one thing that I'm having struggle and remember how to do is com... So, like, the combos. When I'm hitting RB sometimes, he does a right swing, left swing, right, right swing combo, right? But sometimes he doesn't. And I don't know... I want him to do that. That's how we can lock the enemy in that animation. But he doesn't always do it. And I don't know. I'll just be honest with you. I don't know how to do it. Personally, so. See, there he did it. See, now that's what I want to do. But I don't always do that. I don't know if I'm hitting something. We're getting a lot of criticals. See, now I'm not doing it. So I don't, I don't understand. Okay, that was close. Did that really just blocked that entire attack. Like, get out of here. <laughs> That's the combo, right? That's what I want to do, but sometimes we don't swing that way. He's trying to heal, but he doesn't have anything left. He's desperate. He's desperate.
Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. I misread that attack. Take that, are you kidding me? Take that! Enemy! Feld, come on! Slaying the knight, you know, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's much quicker than I usually beat bosses, I, and I'm serious. Great Sword of Solitude. We did it. You know, I just never gave up hope. And you just have to, I, you, I kept, tra I trash talked a little bit that fight. I think a little bit of trash talking to the boss, it's good. But it's when I just keep, it's when I just keep just cru trying to crush the boss. I was mad that one, too many attacks, but got a full armor set it looks like. So that's nice. Uh, we're not going to be able to wear that because it's going to make us too slow. But yeah, it's going to, that, that's awesome. What a fight. Thank you all for the one size. You all never gave up hope, did you? Some of you, everybody shook their head. Yes, we never gave up hope. That's right. Great suit of solitude. Great. What is that? Great suit of solitude? Great sword. Wielded by the knights of the solitary goal. Is that who we just fight? That That's who we fought? Okay. For a secret right, they relinquished their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Oh, that seemed like a boss who got rid of his heart. Okay, that all makes sense now. Next, they engrave their blades with two crests. One depicting the light of birth and the other solitude. Unique skill, solitary moon slash. Sharply slash downward using the great sword. Shooting forward an arc of light. That's exactly what... Okay, that's the attack he did to us. Is this... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it for a second. Oh, that's sick. I don't have enough spitting stones and stuff to upgrade it, but maybe we'll find some through the DLC, obviously. Could be good. I don't think it's going to be... The problem is, my ranged attack doesn't use FP. Look at this. This uses FP every time. So, this, I don't see a point to ever use this over this, because the beauty of the Dark Moon Greatsword, if you don't know this, once I hit left trigger to infuse it with Moonlight, Every time I hit a heavy attack, right there, it doesn't cost FP. And you do more damage with every hit. And if you're close to him, you can hit him with the ranged and melee at the same time. So this sword, to me, is my favorite sword in the game for that reason. There's got to be a secret. Those of you that don't know, some of the walls in this game you hit, and a secret passage opens up. So yeah, sometimes you got to go smacking every single wall. A lot of times though, uh, there would be a note on the ground. Like a lot of players are very awesome. And a lot of players will leave a note saying like, Oh, you might want to hit the wall here or something, you know? <laughs> Yeah, this mall might be worth hitting. It doesn't always the case. But wait, somebody had time to fight and leave a message? Maybe they left it afterward. First off, suffering! <laughs> yes! I'm appraising that. So here's the thing. Every time you say good on a quote, it heals them in their game. So when you applaud their message, they get healed and I believe they refill their flask. So they, they could be in that boss fighting first off suffering. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one, right? That makes me feel a lot better. That makes me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> First off, suffering, you don't say. I don't know, I, I think that was kind of easy. Oh. 
This is not the time, bird. I am not in the mood. I, I don't know what you are. I, I thought that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was one of the easier boss fights I've ever seen. It took me a while just because, you know. You know how it is. You know how Elden Ring is. Oh, there she is! That's the lady, right? Who we talked to? Lita, I think was her name. Leta, Lita, something like that. What is this? Ooh, that's the tree blessing. Consume these at sites of grace to bolster your tree blessing. I don't the reason you're what well, right, it's the Scatterdoo tree. Skadoo tree. I don't know how to pronounce that. I pronounce 90% of names wrong in this video game, so. Bolsters the recipient's abilities to deal and negate damage. Why did I not have that before? <laughs> What's this? Fi, another. Treading the heels of Michaela. Then, as that woman would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned. But understand, your kind are not forgiven. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed, set aflame. I believe Mikkel's apologies when he says our delivery will come, but never will I see your kind as worthy. Okay, put some respect on the Elden Lord. Does he know what we went through to become Elden Lord? On my kind? Yeah, Elden Lord. And yet my oath I cannot overlook. If Mikkel is whom you would seek, then, comrade, allow me to give you this. These are the sights of the crosses I found. I urge you, follow after Mikila. As long as you abide by his footfalls, you will be no enemy to me. Oh, give me a cross map. Nice. That's why you always talk to NPCs until they repeat. I urge you, follow after Mikila. As long as you abide by his footfalls. Oh, you're an enemy to me. You, you, I mean, if I could fight you right now, I probably would, if I'm being honest. Wait, touch cross. That's new. Carved words coalesce. I abandon here the first to flash of my body. That's all? What's the point of that? There has to be something more than that, right? Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. How did you handle the fight alongside Radan? Before they nerf Radan, that boss fight took me a week. And I'm talking about fighting him a lot. That is, was the most frustrating boss for me. It was Radon, and they nerfed him. He's, he's a lot easier now. It's not easy. But wow. Oh, Radon. I'll never forget Radon. My most hated boss in my playthrough was Radon. And Freya fought with him? I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, another thing. Did you speak to our Daryl little friend? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the Cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. Okay. If you've yet to do so, be sure assuming you intend to trace Kind Mikola's path. So that that's so it's pointing you away to the story, right? Uh one thing I will say, you could beat the whole Elden Ring 
main game and really not follow the story, right? Because it's more of a lore story. To really pay attention and read to kind of what, what you're doing. Uh, so it seems like right now we're falling into Mikola's footsteps and we're... I don't know if they're good or bad. I don't know if we're fighting them or... We'll find out. All I know in the story, we fought a lot of bosses and we became Elden Lord. And that's that's what it meant. That's that's what I remember about the story. Uh yeah, Shadow Realm Blessing, and we have this. Now is this gonna allow us to fight that big giant? How many runes did I get for fighting that? I didn't even pay attention. Can I level up? Yeah, I can. Okay, so we can level up. I mean, uh, so once you get to where we are, once you get above 150, the leveling, leveling up doesn't really do much, though. Each level. Because we're kind of over that uh, soft cap of leveling. So you can see it, it barely increases. Like It does some, but... I'm going to increase vigor. Before we close out this video, I think we need to... I think we need to try one more time. Now that we beat one boss, we have confidence, you know? I, al I know I always say confidence is one of your worst enemies in Elden Ring, and it's true, but that doesn't stop me. I mean, our weapons don't even hurt this thing, though. That's not ideal. Come on, giant. This is the one I have no clue what to do. Yeah, I, I just don't understand that. You can't jump. You can't get away fast enough. Yeah, we'll, clo we'll close out this video here with probably a couple more fights against this giant till we get to get a couple more minutes here. I like to keep them an hour. You know, I used to, a lot of times my playthroughs would just get too long per episode and it just became too much. So this one I'm going to try. This is a game that you can you can stop, right? Because you, you're going to die 500 times in a boss fight. Well, I'm going to die 500 times in a boss fight. So like, yeah, I don't mind to, uh, I could stop it whatever, right? A couple more attempts, go on to the next one. No, trust me. When we get to the main bosses, oh, you thought we were on that last one for a long time? No, no, no. If you're new to Elden Ring, that was nothing. <laughs> that was not even a hard boss. Yeah, it took me a while, but it wasn't. I wouldn't call that a hard boss. Wait, what is this? Oh, no. Yeah, okay, so that's just an attack you're just gonna hit, hit. reminder so it'll be a little while before i see your all's comments i'm going to be playing this game like a lot successively 
So that means success excessively, that's right. Right back to back. So I'm gonna be playing like eight hours at a time probably when I play this game. And each episode will be eight. So and I'm gonna try to avoid spoilers. So it'll be a little bit before I actually look at comments. So keep that in mind. I try to avoid spoilers. So maybe a little while. So you all may say something. And I may not discover it out until 20 episodes later and 20 hours later. We may be in the last boss and you all might say, Oh, Ryan, did you know that you can do this to improve your damage by 85,000%? Probably. And I probably just didn't want to use it. Yeah, I don't I don't like... I know there's like crazy overpowered stuff you can do. Like, I, I, I have more fun to challenge. Like, I don't mind using like enchantments, some of them. I know there's a lot of other stuff I could use as well to to make the game a little bit easier, but I, I like the challenge of it. I think everybody's a little bit different, and the beauty of Elden Ring, play it however you want. Nothing wrong with using anything. Mimics, summons, uh, overpowered, crazy builds. You do whatever. That's the beauty of this video game. You can become an Elden Lord in any way. No right or wrong way to play this video game. Some people will try to tell you that there is, but there's not. Okay, so that is really undodgeable. It's personal at this point. This isn't even a boss. This is just a random enemy they threw out there to try to get you to fight it when you don't need to. And this is this is personal now. It's a personal battle. We will keep fighting this thing. If this playthrough continues to a full full one, I will keep fighting that thing. And I'm not gonna stop. I'm talking about I'm gonna I'm, I may find it like one or two times each video you know I don't know how big this place is Do definitely doesn't look as big as the main map but it still looks massive and it looks absolutely what a video game experience already back in the Elden Ring I think that's a good place to stop part two here today but as always if you want to continue to see this series you know you know what to do smash that like button and uh I'm going to keep recording these, and now whether I post the whole series, we'll see. Uh, that, that'll be up to you all if you all are really enjoying it. Uh, and I see the engagement. You all seem to be getting into it, wanting to see me go through that pain. We hit that 50 like mark. It may, and you trust me, I may in the future, if the ball starts getting really frustrated, I may be like, oh, okay, this may be the last one unless we get to 100 likes, right? <laughs> Oh my, it depends on what this game hits me with. But who knows? I mean, we've done pretty good so far. We took down a boss already. Uh, so yeah, I think the 50 light go mark is very achievable. And I think you all are going to be wanting to see this series. You're going to want to see me go through pain. You're going to want to see me go through the rage and stuff. I'm going to be playing it regardless. Like, you better believe it. I'm playing this game. But whether I want you all to see me go through all that pain and the rage, the frustrations... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, that's It might be too long of a playthrough, so it'll, that'll be if you all want to see it, right? But while that was a great start, this game is amazing. This DLC already is fantastic. Like, amazing. I will see you all in the next video on the channel. Whether it's Elden Ring or another video, I will link the playlist of Elden Ring here in the description in case you missed the first part. Or if there are going to be other parts, that's where you can find them. I'll see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.